Forge, here we are back in town, Ruby. Uh, hello, you random person. I see this guy still doing his cool little thing. That, that's awesome and all. And, um, well, hey, hey, hello, man. How, how are you doing? We need doors. We need doors! <laughs> so, like, I, th I think we need doors. So, like, to start off, I guess we should first create an actual room to be used as the inside of one of these buildings. So, let's get straight into that. So, if you recall, when we create a new map, we go up here and we click New Map. But we're not going to do that this time. Instead, we're going to do something else. We're going to go to one of these maps right here. We're going to right click on it. And we can still do new map. So let's do it. And let's create a new map from on top of the town one map. Let's name it town one room one for whatever reason. And we will hit OK. And now when we do that, we'll find that, hey, this map is sort of underneath our town one map. And we can actually close and expand it using a plus and minus sign right there. So. This is happening because each map in our little map editor section right here can actually function as a folder. So it's not only a map, it's a folder map. Yay! So that's how it pretty much works. So I would recommend whenever you create like a town or maybe a dungeon, you'd probably want to make one map, the base map, then all the succeeding maps such as rooms, doors, second floors, etc. are all sub maps stored within the main map. So you can make your map little thing organized. Cause you know, when you actually create a real game, it's gonna easily have up to maybe 60, 70, or maybe even 100 maps. And you're gonna want to have some way to keep things organized, even if you only only pretending. So to do so, you will make these little folders. And for this example, we'll be putting all of the town house rooms inside our town one map folder thingy. So. Let's click on our town one, room one, and let us just simply create a really quick map. So I forgot to also go back in here. Let's set it so the tile set is gonna be inside. So it's gonna be doing the inside of a house. We'll hit okay. We'll click on one of these random inside tile sets. Select the ceiling. We'll just surround the entire thing real quickly. Oh, and then we'll do like the ground with like this tile set. We'll do a little boop. And then we'll do a little exit part right here. And we'll just call that our little thing for now. We'll also make a wall at the side, so yay. It's gonna be a really quick, simple little house room thingy. So let's make a door that goes in to our room right here. So let's go back to town one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into event mode. We're gonna make a door for say this house right here. And once again, the door is gonna be just a simple quick event. So right click, quick event creation and the door. So we'll get to choose a door image. We'll have a whole list of all these door images. So door one or door two is our files. Just stick with door one, select one of these doors, say this door right here, choose a location it's gonna put us to. So we're gonna be put into town one, room one on this tile right here. We're gonna hit okay and it will be perfect to go. So finally, let's go to town one, room one. Let's go here. Let's right click and create another quick, tra tra quick, quick event creation. Go to transfer. This time we'll transfer back to outside. So right here, we'll be looking downward and we'll hit OK. Now let's actually go and test out our door. And so let's go down here and we'll find our door perfectly positioned right here. Let's go inside and we'll find, hey, we're in our room now. And now we can go back outside simply walking this little space. And yay, we're back outside. And yeah, it's actually that simple. Now, here's a few tips for creating doors. As you may notice in the tutorial in which I actually created this map, I added all these like black spaces right here. You can find these in the second B and you can find them right like right here. So like this one, this one, this one, this one. And you want to choose one that corresponds to the type of door you're using. So if you use this one, this rounder one, as you see right here, we could say put this right here instead of that thing. So boop, that is not going away. I'm doing something wrong. What is going on? Please help me. Okay, there we go. Boom. And then we can go and create an, the, one of the rounder doors. So quick event creation. Oh, door. And we'll choose the round one this time like this. Hit OK because we don't care. And it's done. So that's what you'd want to do for that. Also, what you want to keep in mind is that if you want to make, say, a door that you can open by pushing an action key instead of just touching it, you'd click action button. Yay! If you want to make a door that actually makes it so that when you transfer, you look in a certain direction, we just go into the bottom transfer event, select the direction to down, left, up, right, whatever you wish, click on that, we can customize our fade by clicking that, and we are good to go. And that's really all there is for making doors. And that's really all you really need to do for making a town. Just set up all the doors, set up all the NPCs, create all the rooms, make them more detailed than this. You, you should be able to figure it out, don't worry. And that's all for this tutorial. 
RPG Maker tutorial end.